Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are back inside of American Truck Simulator. We are going to be transporting some packaged food. So if you do enjoy this one guys, please make sure to leave this video a like. Along with if you are new here to the channel, please do hit that big subscribe button. And also hit that post notification bell and say to all that way you get notified every time we go live, upload a new video or a new short. So with that being said, let's get started. Guys, right now it actually has started to rain, so we are actually gonna quickly get these uh wind wipers on and uh, we are gonna get going right now guys as uh this journey is 110 miles so it is quite a long one and uh guys we're raining now uh we're gonna have to be a bit more careful uh, on the roads so um that's gonna take a bit longer than usual but guys uh, Recently, we have not really had much rain in ATS, so this rain has come as a bit of a shock. But it's okay. It's always nice to get a bit of rain sometimes. I mean, it's nothing really different, really, like the UK. It's always having rain, so. Not a rare sight to see. Guys, packaged foods. This one is definitely another interesting one. Obviously, all the food that we usually buy from stores comes in packaging, so... Again, guys, pretty familiar thing that you would see on a daily basis. Finally slammed into us right there. Yo, that is crazy right now, guys. Can you just see that? Yo, he was not stopping. Damn, bro. He crashed into us. That would have been real bad. But let's just say, guys, honestly, recently, you guys probably seen, have uh, seen that. I haven't really been live streaming that much. And uh, that is because, guys, my PC, I still have not got fixed. Um, uh, it's been, like, I think now, like, basically three weeks since I last streamed. And, uh, guys, honestly, um, it's been a while, honestly. Um, I definitely have missed uh, not being able to stream. But, guys... Like I said before, with that FPS I've been getting recently, it's just not worth it. I, like, there's no point showing gameplay that's just really laggy. And just, uh, it's just not fun to play at all. And guys, that is the honest reason why I've not streamed. Um, and the worst part is, guys, the new Call of Duty season comes out tomorrow, season 3. And, uh, I'm not going to be streaming it because, um, my PC is still broken, guys. Honestly, I really do need to try and get it fixed, but, like, uh, I just do not have the time right now because, obviously, I'm making videos and stuff. And, guys, it is a quite big job because i got to get it over to, like, a PC shop and stuff. And it just takes, like, forever to do. So that is, like, kind of, like, why I've not been streaming recently. Um because my PC is just still broken. But guys, I'm trying to, like, hopefully gonna get it fixed soon though, because, uh, honestly, I do wanna get back to streaming. Um, but interestingly, guys, um, when, I think the last stream I did was Fortnite, and uh, I was actually playing a bit of Fortnite off, like, stream, obviously, the other day, and interestingly, guys, I'm still getting around, like, 40 FPS, like, where even when I'm not streaming, so I definitely see there is an issue somewhere, but guys, I'm just not sure where, honestly. Like, I'm not an expert when it comes to fixing computers or anything like that. So, uh, hopefully when I get it fixed, uh, they'll diagnose something that was on it and just get it removed, honestly, guys. 
but honestly, like, like I say, guys, I really do want to get back to streaming. But, uh, obviously, just right now is not the time to, with, uh, all these issues that are going on. But, guys, it definitely does suck, because, uh, as I said, Season 3 is out tomorrow. So, on Wednesday, and, uh, Rebirth Island's coming back as well, so I'll be missing all of that, but... Guys, do not worry, because, uh, when we do get back to streaming, we will get caught up with, like, everything super quick. I might try and get a few extra streams in during the week, potentially. Um, that's, of course, if I'm not working. Um, because, obviously, like I say, guys, they can just call me and whatever, so... We'll see. But another thing, guys, is uh, I was actually looking at uh, games uh, just earlier this week, actually. And uh, as I've been saying, guys, I really want to get some different content onto the channel-wise. Because, like I said, guys, I do play a lot of ATS and Euro Truck here on the channel. And uh, I've just been thinking, like, what other games can I play? And honestly, guys, it is, like, right now like a time where there's not really much happening like easter is just gone and uh there was a few sales that were um out but honestly guys the sales weren't particularly that great if i'm honest um there was a few decent ones but those were like games that weren't really ones that like filmable to like put onto my channel but also guys just like the prices themselves some of the sales were just absolutely horrific so i didn't really get anything um i was thinking maybe potentially of getting some dlcs soon for um like both ats and like euro truck but that's something that i've got to take into consideration first one game that I was looking at that we have streamed actually on the channel before was actually Construction Simulator 2015, guys. And uh, honestly, I think actually filming that game, not on stream, but making some videos on it would actually be quite cool. Like, to do some construction videos. I think that would be quite a cool thing to put onto the channel. So guys, if you want to see that, let me know down in the comments because I am actually thinking about doing some Constructing Simulator 2015 videos. Although it's um, a much older version of the game, it is still really fun to play, honestly, guys. And uh, honestly, I enjoy it so much that I think it would be definitely cool to, you know, bring it onto the channel and build some stuff, like some houses, you know, some hotels maybe, I think they've got. So yeah, that would be really cool. I'm not sure what happened with that car just there, guys, either, but I don't know if you guys saw, but it just sort of like did like a 360 turn and then just went back to normal driving. That was a bit weird, honestly. But guys, like I said before, sometimes this game can actually like glitch out, as uh, we have seen in the past, we like train and stuff which I think is still an ongoing issue as well um, there was this other person that I was um, watching the other day and they said they had the same issue of the train was just bugging out they were, uh, they were telling quite a lot of people to not put them all in because of that issue but guys we already had it in the game anyway so it's not like I'm going to bother removing it honestly as you guys can see right now, it's starting to get dark. It has actually stopped raining as well, which is quite nice. As we head into the evening. It is actually, like, quite nice outside. Which is actually decent. You can see it has the Colorado flag right there. It's quite nice. Luckily, though, we're just under five miles now. So, hopefully we'll be arriving soon. I'm not sure where we're actually taking this log to. I'm not sure if it's the airport, like, depot that we're taking it to. The Denver International Airport depot, or if we're going somewhere else. Because I've gone for Tum East Depot, I like to think. As you guys can see right there, all the planes are 
right there. Parked up. Cargo planes. Which I presume are going to be headed to their destination. Probably soon, actually. Like, a lot of these uh, cargo airlines guys, they do, uh, do quite a lot of overnight flights. And then they arrive, like, pretty much early in the morning. So, yeah, we need to try and get into the depot pretty quickly, actually. Because, uh, obviously, we do not want to delay uh, the load-up time. Because, guys, it's uh, crazy to think that, uh, if you didn't know about this, that... The longer a plane is on the ground, the more money they are losing, guys. And, uh, it is obviously pretty obvious about that, because obviously, planes need to be up in the air for as long as they can be, guys, because that's how airlines make money. So, yeah, we are going to get us, I think we're going to the UPS depot, so, we'll get us into the, uh, We'll see where they want us to put this load as always, guys. Hopefully it's not too bad. We'll see. It's a plane right there. You guys can see the nose is up on it. We are actually going to be heading into the airport as well. Guys, we ain't even parking at one of the depots. We're just heading straight onto the actual airfield. Damn, this is crazy, guys. We've never done this before. Wow. We will put it where they need it, so let's go. Ah, oh, no way, bro. Guys, we've got to back this trailer onto the actual aircraft. There's no way, man. Guys, this is crazy. Okay, well this is a new challenge. Ooh. Man, we gotta be really careful here. Guys, if we slip off this ramp, we're screwed. It takes me real slow. We need to get lined up first. Man. Okay guys, and as you can see right now, another successful mission well completed there. Guys, honestly, that was pretty tense, I cannot lie. That is the first time I've ever had to reverse my old truck onto an aircraft with a trailer. And guys, honestly, for a first attempt, that was actually pretty good. There was a lot of movement and adjusting right there, but guys, that is obviously quite important because uh, if it's not set right on the aircraft, then uh, that can actually be very dangerous um, as uh, the count weight can be a massive problem. So uh, guys, I think that was a pretty successful mission, honestly, and that was really enjoyable doing that for the first time. So if you did enjoy this one, guys, please make sure to leave this video a like. Along with if you are new here to the channel, please do hit that big red subscribe button. And also hit that post notification bell and say it to all. That way you get notified every time I go live, upload a new video or a new short. And I will see you guys on the next one.